Greetings again, gang. All right, still Friday and still crazy. What else is new? So, I want to show you something. This should make everybody worried, especially if you have any sort of livestock. Cattle, chickens, goats, dogs, you know, whatever. Did you ever think that you could be jailed for taking care of your animals. Not for not taking care of them. Okay, Not for animal abuse. Jailed for taking care of them. Now I'm going to ask a question. Obviously this one pertains to females, but the guys understand how this one works too. You ever used a pregnancy test? You know, one of those little EPT sticks. You pee on the stick and it tells you if you're pregnant. Maybe you used it, your spouse, your daughter, your sister, whatever, to find out if you were pregnant. Okay. Could you imagine going to jail because you used one of those early pregnancy tests? Seriously. Okay. You're practicing medicine without a license. You took a pregnancy test and determined you were or were not pregnant, and you're not a medical professional. You're under arrest. Can you imagine that? On a human being. Oh, okay. A little ridiculous, right? So let's step it back to animals. What if you wanted to check to see if you, your cow was pregnant? Your dog was pregnant, or whatever, and you tested the animal to see if they were pregnant. I'm sorry, sir. You're practicing veterinary medicine without a license. You're under arrest. Think I'm kidding? Watch this. Attorney Robert Barnes is representing Ethan Wentworth of Airville and Rusty Herr of Christiana. I've seen crazy cases. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. There are former dairy farmers who now operate Noble Solutions, a breeding company which helps dairy farms with reproductive management of cattle. For two weeks, the men have sat in prison, denied bail. They are still as baffled today as they were the day they were suddenly jailed. As to why they're there, what happened, did they do something wrong? They're still trying to figure that out. Is there some way they can fix it? According to prison officials, Wentworth was booked into the York County Prison on April 10th for a 30-day sentence on a civil charge. Her was arrested one day later on a contempt of court charge and sent to Lancaster County Prison for a 30-day sentence as well. The state of Pennsylvania had uh, them had a judge sign an order of imprisonment for two people uh, without ever naming them as parties to a case, without them ever being charged with any crime, without any hearing before an order of imprisonment was issued, all of which was is completely illegal under Pennsylvania law and the United States Constitution. Yes, you have two Pennsylvania dairymen who are in prison, not just county jail, prison for doing ultrasounds on cattle to see if they are pregnant, for practicing veterinary medicine without a license. These guys own a company called No Bull, all right? And they are dairymen. They go out and help ranchers, cattle farmers, whatever you want to talk about, dairy farmers, figure out better ways to produce milk, okay, to reproduce their cows so that they can continue their operations. They're well versed in how to do something as simple as take an ultrasound. Now, I want you to hear the key on this one. They are being, they have been imprisoned with no charges, no charges filed. They have no due process whatsoever, okay? They've just been arrested and incarcerated, and that was it. They no way to, no charges to defend themselves against. You're gonna do 30 days in jail just because we said so. 
The War on Cows. This is dictator stuff. Straight to jail, just because I said so. No due process, right? Okay. I want you to take a look at this article. This is the state's claim, okay? And look at where I circled here. Read that. I'll link this entire article so you can go read the whole thing. The state is essentially calling pregnancy a disease, even though the federal courts have founded humans. Pregnancy, pregnancy is a condition, not a disease. So now we have an issue where the state of Pennsylvania is considering a disease, or is considering pregnancy a disease. Hmm. Let's see, how do we look at this one? Well, if we have a disease, I don't know, let's say COVID, we need to figure out how to eradicate the disease, right? We need to figure out how to get rid of it. We'll give everybody the arm ticket. And hopefully that would get rid of the disease, right? But according to the state of Pennsylvania, pregnancy is a disease. Well, you want to get rid of a disease. How do you get rid of a pregnancy disease? Oh, I don't know. Abortion? Right? See how this is all tied together here? These guys run a company they have for years. They have been told by the state over and over and over again that they cannot, they've been fined, you know, you can't do this. And their answer every time has been, we're doing nothing illegal, immoral, or against any sort of ethical, medical ethical standard, okay? They're taking an ultrasound. Literally, they're taking a picture, okay? Great, you can't do an, take an ultrasound with your phone, but go along the same lines. You're walking down the street, you take a picture of your daughter playing with a ball. No different. The equipment's a little bit more intricate, but it's the same freaking idea. Nothing's getting getting injected into the animal. The animal's not under any duress. There's no problem whatsoever. But for taking a picture to see if a cow is pregnant which is what the dairy farmer wants, these guys are now in prison. Again, let's go back to what I said at the top. Can you imagine taking care of your own animals, your chickens, your cows, your goats, your dogs, whatever, and being arrested for doing the right thing? This is insane. As I showed you in that clip, their lawyer doesn't know what to do. There's no charges to respond to for the lawyer. There's no court hearing for, for these guys. They're just going to do 30 days in jail. There's no, there's no arrest warrant. This is just some rogue agents from the Department of Agriculture or whatever, who decided, I don't like what this guy's doing. We're going to put him in jail. However this all plays out, we need to watch this. I mean, you guys know about the story with the Amish farmers up in Pennsylvania that they're going after. I don't know what the deal is with Pennsylvania, but it sure seems to be, besides Joe's backyard, okay, it sure seems to be where agriculture is going to die. They don't want people growing food. They don't want people raising livestock. You go look and outside of the cities, a lot of Pennsylvania is farmland. Okay. Start putting all those people out of work. Arresting them with no charges. Arresting uh, was Amos Miller was the name of the Amish farmer. 
Same thing they're doing here. Watch this case closely. Watch the cases in your state. Talk to the farmers around and see if they've heard about this. This news needs to get out to your local cattle farmers, dairy farmers, etc., etc., because whatever happens with this is going to set a precedent that other inevitably blue areas are going to use. Well, case president, president, state of Pennsylvania versus no bull. Mr. Jones, you're under arrest for taking pictures of your cow, just checking to see if your goat's pregnant. Right? Okay. Don't think just because this is Pennsylvania, in Pennsylvania, it's not coming to you. This is setting legal precedent if this one flies. Everything that could be wrong is wrong in this. They are trying to put people that produce food out of business. Who's behind this? Don't know. But you can pretty much guarantee it's somebody who supports the green agenda and the, oh my God, methane from cow farts, or we all need to eat bugs or anything. You know, somebody who's got a bone to pick, you know, with dairy milk. Oh, maybe they just like soy milk or almond milk. Maybe they're vegan. Yeah, I can pronounce it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> This needs, this needs to be spread far, spread fast. Everybody needs to know. The authorities, every single one of them who's involved in this, from the one who wrote the document that said to arrest them, to the, to the ones that arrested them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, need to be locked up. Charged and locked up. Okay. Again, I'll go into Jack Smith. There's only one set of, Jack Smith saying, there's only one set of laws in the country. Good. Please tell me the law they violated. You know, they didn't violate any laws. They violated, they, they hurt somebody's feelings. I'm freaking sick of people thinking their feelings and their authority that they supposedly have can get in there and start destroying other people's lives. These guys did nothing wrong. They're helping other people raise animals, produce milk, that we all go to the store and buy, and they're sitting in prison? Bullshit. Pinball out.